Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can control multiple ESP8266 modules through single blink app interface. In this way, you can connect many ESP8266 modules to different switchboards of your different rooms in the house and control it with single app interface. So there will be no long wiring connections from one switchboard to another for your IoT project. So let's get started with this video. So for this project you will need multiple ESP8266 modules, then relay boards, LEDs and breadboards. First install Blink app on your mobile. Open it and click on new project. Give you a project name. I am giving home automation and select ESP8266 board and click on create. Now here add buttons. So I will be adding total 9 buttons for demonstration. Now we will configure each button. So first we will give the name. I will be selecting room 1. Then we will select the GPIO pin. It's not the digital pin, it's GPIO. And now you can select switch. You can refer the pin diagram of the ESP module so you will get the proper GPIO numbers of each digital pin. So we have to do this for all the buttons and we will arrange the buttons. So I have done it. Now I will connect the Node MCU board first with my computer. So for demonstration I will be using the code from this 9 channel project which I made before. So the code is very simple to understand, there is nothing much to explain in this. So first we will write the SSID that is Wi-Fi name, then we will write the password. The authentication code is mailed by Blink, so we will copy it and paste it in the code. We will select the node MCU board, we will select the port and upload the code. So after uploading we will change the node mcu board i will use another one and i will upload the same code again with the same authentication code so we will be able to control with the same mobile application so now it's uploaded now i will change to this board that is vmos d1 mini I will select the port and upload the code with same authentication token and similarly I will also upload the same code to this fourth board. So now all this board has the same authentication code. So we will be able to control it with the single blink interface. So this is the circuit diagram. So you can see that these three LEDs are connected to D0, D1, D2. These two are connected to D3, D4. Then on this board it's connected to D5 and D6. And on this fourth board it's connected to D7 and D8. So all the board have different pins connected to LED. Now I will follow the circuit diagram and do my connections. On this breadboard, I am connecting VCC and ground of both the ESP boards to each other. So when I will connect the USB power to one board, the other board will also be powered on.
so to power on all the boards i am using the usb hub so this will provide usb power connection to all the boards So now I am connecting this hub to power bank. So you can see the message connected. So when you press the button, the corresponding LED will turn on. So now I have turned on all the LEDs of room 1, then room 2, room 3 and room 4. So in this way you can connect this different ESP modules to the different switchboards of your different rooms so you will be able to control all the boards through single app. Similarly I tried this concept with this feedback system project. So as you can see I have used two buttons and two relays on one board and one button one relay on the second board. So you can see both the relays are connected to different ESP boards and now I will show you the demonstration. You can try this same concept on these PCB boards of my previous projects. All these floors will be compatible with this concept so you can use it and if you don't have any if you want to order this you can create your Gerber file or you can download mine so these are the circuit diagrams how I create on easy EDA and this is the PCB format and after making this PCB you have to create the Gerber file and download the Gerber file after downloading you can visit JLC PCB to order your PCBs so select quote now and add your Gerber file here upload it after uploading select the quantity color thickness and save to cart and then you can place the order After you receive this PCB, you just have to assemble all the components over it and solder it. And after soldering, it will give a professional look to your project and you can use it safely. So friends I hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.